Hello everyone. Welcome to my virtual class. This class is for class 11. Today topic some sums of the chapter straight line. In previous class we discussed the theory of that theory portion of that chapter. In this class we do some sums of this chapter. First question is in the book question number long answer type question question number two two straight lines drawn through the origin trisect the portion of the line 4x plus 3y equals to 12 intercepted between the axes find the equation of the straight line again we read the sums two straight lines two straight lines drawn through the origin trisect the portion of the line 4x plus 3y equals to 12 this is the given equation intercepted between the axes find the equation of the straight line now the given equation is 4x plus 3y equals to 12 this is the given equation now divided by 12 so 4x by 12 plus 3x by 12 equals to 1 which implies x by 3 plus y by 4 equals to 1 this is a intercepted form of a straight line this is the intercepted form of a straight line x by a plus y by b equals to 1 so therefore the straight line intersect the x axis at the point 3 comma 0 and intersect y axis at the point 0 comma 4 this is the given straight line x intercept is 3, 3 and y intercept is 4 unit these two lines passing through origin divides the line segment ab trisect the line segment ab so therefore P and Q let two required lines passing through origin bisected at P and Q of the line segment AB. So therefore AP is 2, AP is 2, BP is 2 is to 1. So therefore coordinate of P is coordinate of P is 2 into 0 plus 1 into 3 divided by 2 plus 1 comma 2 into 2 into 4 plus 1 into 0 divided by 2 plus 1 this is 1 comma 8 by 3 also q divide the line segment is 1 is to 2 so a q is to b q a q is to b q is 1 is to 2 so therefore coordinate of q is coordinate of q is this is 1 is to 2, 2 into 3 plus 1 into 0 divided by 2 plus 1 comma 2 into 0 plus 1 into 4 divided by 2 plus 1 this is equals to 6 by 3 comma 4 by 3 so this is 2 comma 4 by 3 now this is the coordinate of q so therefore therefore equation of therefore equation of q so therefore equation of equation of PO PO is a straight line passing through P and O is is x minus x1 by x2 minus x1 x2 is 1 1 minus 0 this is equal to y minus y1 by y2 minus y1 which implies x x 
8 by 3 into x equals to y. So this is equals to 8x equals to 3y which implies 8x minus 3y equals to 0. And equation of OQ and equation of and equation of QO is x minus x1 x minus 0 by 2 minus 0 y minus y1 by y2 minus y1 y2 is 4 by 3 which implies 4 by 3 into x equals to 2y or 4x is equal to 6y 4x equals to 6y or 2x minus 3y equal to 0. So therefore equation of two required lines equation of two required two required lines are one equation is 8x minus 3y equal to 0 and another equation is 2x minus 3y equal to 0. Airport, short answer type question, question number 11. Now, if A plus B plus C equal to 0 for all position of the moving line, X plus BY plus C equal to 0. So that the line always passes through a fixed point, find the coordinates of that fixed point. Now, a plus b plus c equal to 0, a plus b plus c equal to 0 and ax plus by plus c equal to, this is the moving line and in all position a plus b plus c equal to 0. Now, a into 1 plus b into 1 plus c equal to 0. Now a plus b plus c equal to 0. A into 1 plus b into 1 plus c equal to 0. So therefore ax plus by plus c equal to 0 always always passing through passing through a fixed point 1 comma 1 so coordinate of the fixed point is 1 comma 1 and this straight line always passing through the point 1 comma 1 because now 1 comma 1 satisfies the equation 1 comma 1 the point 1 comma 1 satisfies the equation so therefore this straight line always passing through a point passing through a fixed point 1 comma 1 next sum Next sum number 12. So that the straight line a plus to b a plus to b into x plus a minus 3b into y plus b minus a equal to 0 always passing through a fixed point. Find the coordinates of that fixed point. देखो जो इक्वेशन टा दिया आचे a plus two b into x plus a minus three b into y plus b minus a equal to जी इटा बोलो दिया आचे किंतु क्वेश्चन है पासिंग थ्रू ए फिक्स पॉइंट इटा क्या फिक्स पॉइंट के जाए उन्हें a और b के वैल्यू जाए वो सब এটা কিন্তু একটা পাসিং থ্রু ফিক্স পয়েন্টে যাবে হলে সে আমাকে সেই পয়েন্টের কোঅর্ডিনেটটা বার করতে হবে তাহলে দেখো এটা করার জন্য আমি এগুলোকে কমন নিলাম তাহলে এ কমন নিলে এখানে x y 1 b কমন নাও 
टू एक्स माइनस थ्री वाई प्लस वन इक्वल टू जीरो एज द स्टेट लाइन पासिंग थ्रू पासिंग थ्रू फिक्स पॉइंट सो x plus y minus one equal to zero and two x minus three y plus one equal to zero. Applying cross multiplication, solve x and y. Now this is minus y by x by. So this is one minus one is a plus minus three minus y by one minus one is a plus two and one by minus three minus two. x by minus two, y by minus three, one by minus five. So x is equal to two by five, and y is equal to three by five. So therefore, coordinate coordinate of the fixed point is two by five, comma. By five. Quick copy it. Next question. Question number thirteen. So that short answer type question. Question number thirteen. So that the equation of the state line x cos alpha plus y sin alpha equal to p can be expressed in the following form. x minus p cos alpha divided by minus sin alpha equal to y minus p sin alpha divided by cos alpha equal to r. देखो गिवन ही क्वेश्चन है कि जब आचे x cos alpha plus y sin alpha equals to p और x cos alpha plus y sin alpha जान दिखे p अच्छे मतलब p into one one जगह लिखते बड़ी cos square alpha plus sin square alpha एक बात देखो जान दिखे p cos square alpha अच्छे इतने cos alpha इतने cos alpha टा common ना तो लो cos alpha जिधे common ना इतने बात अबे x minus x minus p cos alpha equal to इधर के minus sin alpha common ना minus sin alpha जिधे common ना तो लेकिन y चिलो तो minus y sin alpha तो लेकिन y पूरा सर minus minus sin alpha common नहीं रही जो तो लेकिन minus ही पूरा सर minus उसे plus होता है minus p sin alpha ये पर एक तो समान है लेकिन बड़ी x minus P cos alpha divided by minus sin alpha. इतना तो लाइक लिखने चाहिए minus sin alpha equals to y minus p sin alpha. इतना तो लाइक हम cos alpha लिखते हैं. Which implies x minus p cos alpha divided by minus sin alpha equals to y minus p sin alpha. By cos alpha plus ten a ratio proportion thing में लिखते पड़ो square root x minus p cos alpha whole square plus y minus p sin alpha whole square divided by sin sin alpha sin square alpha minus sin alpha sin square alpha plus cos square alpha let R equals to square root x minus p cos alpha whole square plus y minus p sin alpha whole square. This is equals to one. So therefore, the given equation, the given equation expressed as expressed as x minus p cos alpha by 
minus sin alpha equals to y minus p sin alpha by cos alpha equals to r. It I proved go through the proof. Here for the question number 14. For the wrong time for t. If p1 and p2 be the lengths of the perpendiculars from the origin upon the line 4x plus 3y equals to 5 cos alpha and 6x minus 8y equals to 5 sin alpha respectively so that p1 square plus 4p2 square equals to 1. Chalo bode patho me equation to dhoge lekhe phele. Kiya chhe patho me equation 4x plus 3y equals to 5 cos alpha. A equation take a jew to origin take a line to report perpendicular distance to P1. Tamani a line take a normal from a convert for normal from a convert for a jemmy. Obviously, into a take a mock a positive with her. Talapani cos alpha to positive in a negative. Set a jana generate a mod new like Kajkuri 4 by root over 4 square plus 3 square. into x plus 3 by root over 4 square plus 3 square into y equals to 5 cos alpha divided by root over 4 square plus 3 square. Again, again, to me cos alpha take a positive in unit. Then cos alpha is positive, cos alpha is negative. So, you can take a normal form of convert. So, you can take a x plus no, sorry, 4 by 5 into x plus 3 by 5 into y equals to cos alpha. So, therefore, p1 equals to cos alpha. It is equal to normal form. So, normal from normal from the polar jet body, it has a origin to key line to perpendicular distance. So, again, the polar jet P1, so therefore P1 equals to cos alpha. All right, the first line equation as a key as a 6x, 6x minus 8y equals to 5 cos alpha. Now, as a key as a question positive in each. So, like in both sides, we divide the root over 6 square plus 8 square. Day. So, 6 by root over of 6 square plus 8 square into x plus minus 8 by root over 6 square plus 8 square into y is equal to 5 sin alpha by root over 6 square plus 8 square, which implies this is 6 by 10 x minus 8 by 10 y this is sin alpha 5 by 10 minus 2 sin alpha by 2 so therefore p2 equals to sin alpha by 2 which implies sin alpha equals to 2 p2 p1 equals to cos alpha this is number 1 and 2 p2 equal to sin alpha so from 1 and 2 so from 1 and 2 cos square alpha plus sin square alpha 1 cos square alpha plus sin square alpha equals to 1 which implies cos square alpha is p1 square plus sin square alpha is 2 p2 whole square equals to 1 P1 square plus 4P2 square equals to 1. It I prove for the other. Question number 19. Here is a ray of light. A ray of light start from P1, 2 reflect on x axis 
at A and hence passing through Q 5,3 find the coordinates of A. The point A is lies on X axis. Now this is the X axis. x o x dash y o y dash p this is the p 1 comma 2 this is the point p 1 comma 2 and another point q 5 comma 3 q 5 comma 3 this is the point q 5 comma 3 now this is the point a Reflect on x axis and a the pore reflect hoye. On x axis reflect hoye, so that's a point. It for reflection law me jai. Ei du to angle same hobe. Ita jodi theta hai, thala ita hobe theta. Thala ei dik diye lo, ei dik diye to lagalo. तल एटा जो दी थीटा है तल एटा होगे थीटा तल टोटल एंगल टा कौतो टोटल एंगल टा होगे पाई माइनस थीटा एटा थीटा पूरा टा तो पाई एटा एटा थीटा एटा थीटा ना ऐसा जब पौधी प्रोने सकते होने जाए तार पर ना जो तो एटा थीटा पूरा एंगल टा जो एक्स आसे डिग्री पाई तल एटू खाने जो तो थीटा तल पूरा � Slope to bar kore now. Now slope of now tan theta equals to. So this angle equals to theta. So therefore slope is tan theta. So tan theta. Tan theta equals to slope of the line AQ. Point is h comma zero. This is the point on x-axis. So let the coordinate of A be h comma zero. So now slope tan theta equals to five. Sorry. T minus 0 divided by I minus H. Y2 minus Y1 divided by X2 minus X1. So this is equals to 3 by I minus H. Also, tan pi minus theta. A angle to pi minus theta. It is angle of inclination angle. Angle of inclined angle to pi minus theta. So tan pi minus theta equals to P a line to slope. So y2 minus y1, 2 minus 0 by 1 minus h. 1, 2 by 1 minus h. So this is tan of pi minus theta. Second coordinate is minus tan theta. Minus tan theta equals 2 by 1 minus h. If tan theta is equal to tan theta is equal to 3 by pi minus h divide equal to 2 by 1 minus h. Let us get to simplify it now. Minus 3 minus 1 plus 3h. Minus 3 minus 1 plus 3h equals to pi 2 plus 10, pi 2 plus 10 minus 2h. 3h plus 2h is equal to 10 plus 3. 5h is equal to 13, h equals to 13 by 5. So therefore, coordinate of the point on x-axis, so therefore coordinate of A, so therefore coordinate of A is 13 by 5 comma 0. Next, therefore, question number 25. So that the equation of the straight line through alpha comma beta and through the point of intersection of the line a1x plus b1y plus c1 equal to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 equal to 0 is a1x plus b1y plus c1 divided by a1 alpha plus b1 beta plus c1 equals to a2x plus b2y plus c2 
equals to a2 alpha plus b2 beta plus c2 तो देखो एक ने देवा आ ची एक ने देवा आ ची 25 25 एक ने अल्फा को मार बीटा एक तक फिक्स पॉइंट दिया आ ची अलग तक पॉइंट हो ची ये a1 x प्लस b1 y प्लस c1 इक्वल टू जीरो और a2 x प्लस b2 y plus c2 equal to 0 a dhuto line is a point of intersection a dhuto line at a point a dhuto point is a state line equation to work out the way the one is a line to work out the way the required line to a dhuto line is a point of intersection the way the lay dot the way due to a dhuto line the way the third line equation to have a late equation of required लाइन बी एक दूसरा जो तो पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन दिया रिक्वायर लाइन पे जाती है तो रिक्वायर लाइन का रिक्वेशन तो दूरी नहीं तो है ए वन एक्स प्लस बी वन वाई प्लस सी वन प्लस के इनटू ए टू एक्स प्लस बी टू वाई प्लस सी टू इक्वल टू जीरो एक टा प्लस के इनटू और एक टा रिक्वेशन इक्� इस पर एक पॉइंट देखो इधर जो इक्वल लाइन टा इधर जो तो अल्फा कोमा बीटा बिंदु दिया गया चें अल्फा कोमा बीटा पॉइंट दे लाइन टा जाते तले इखने अल्फा कोमा बीटा इलाइन तो सेटिस्फाई कर दे के एस डी रिक्वायर्ड लाइन रिक्वायर्ड लाइन पासिंग थ्रू पासिंग थ्रू अल्फा कोमा बीटा सो उसे तो एक्स जरा अल्फा वाई जरा बीटा ए वन अल्फा प्लस बी वन बीटा प्लस सी वन प्लस के इनटू ए टू अल्फा बी टू बीटा प्लस सी टू इक्वल टू जीरो के इक्वल्स टू माइनस ऑफ ए वन अल्फा प्लस बी वन बीटा प्लस सी वन डिवाइडेड बाय ए टू अल्फा b2 beta plus c2 so therefore if the required equation is to keta unknown to you see that so therefore required equation is required equation is a1x plus b1y plus c1 minus k hello was here though a1 alpha plus b1 beta plus c1 a2 alpha b2 beta plus c2 into a2x plus b2y plus c2 equal to 0 which implies that to simplify for now the like it equal to 0 the minus to the will equal to higher so i put a1x plus b1y plus c1 and it's a taken a minute a1 alpha plus b1 beta plus c1 equals to beta to body as a a2x plus b2y plus c2 and each other way of a2 alpha plus b2 beta plus c2 that i put both of the proof you got a back in google for me the dina paro इस चैप्टर के वीडियो थे बाकी हम गुलो पढ़े दिया हुए सॉफ्ट पढ़े दिया हुए ना जेगुलो पढ़े ना सेगुलो पढ़े वीडियो थे पढ़े दिया हुए ओके थैंक यू